going for it. Bring it back over here. Guys, I'm telling you, this is gonna be awesome, guys. What's up, beautiful people? We are... What's up, beautiful people? We are on our way to a canal here in Miami. I've heard, never been there before, but I've heard it's a pretty nice spot. It's a canal that's connected to the ocean here in Miami, and it's brackish water, so we might be catching some jacks, some snooks. I don't have live bait because everything is closed. We're in quarantine here, but we're gonna try going out there, maybe use some lures, and let's see what we can catch. How are you spending your quarantine? Are you having fun watching videos? Let me know down in the comments, guys. I just saw a massive, massive fish. He's over there. I'm pretty sure you guys can see him with this camera. But dude, it is huge. Oh, he's going for it, dude. What? That's look, look. You can see it right there, coming up to the surface. Let me check my drag. I'm using really light, and I think this is maybe 10 pounds. You guys knew what that fish was that we saw earlier. If you were able to see it, let me know what you guys think that is. I have no idea. It was huge, though. So like I said, this is the first time I come to this spot. And when I got here, I realized that there's a bunch of iguanas in this section right here. This might be the spot where I come to do a catch, clean, and cook of an iguana. When all this COVID-19 deal goes away, we could reunite with Gabby because he's been on lockdown at his house and might do a catch, clean, and cook. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, my friends. The thing that got me snagged last time was those I guess from that tree right there, some of those branches fell into the water. Cast it over there because I saw a fish and I guess I didn't realize how deep my lure was going so I got stuck to that branch. So I'm gonna avoid that spot for now. This place is absolutely beautiful. You got the shade going on. While we were walking up to the spot, I saw these pink eggs on the ground and it's crazy, I've never seen them before. These are actually eggs from a snail. I didn't even know that snails would lay eggs. I saw one of those fat snails, the ones that are around the Everglades as well. And I didn't know they laid eggs, but it looks so epic. Those eggs were awesome. Oh, dude, dude, check this out. That big fish just got back. Check this out. I'm pretty sure if I hook that fish on, I'm gonna get broken off. But hey, let's give it a try. Monster snook, I just saw a monster snook over there. Here he comes. I don't know if you guys can see him right there, but he is a monster, guys. He is a monster. He's going for it. Oh. He bit it, he didn't quite grab on it. I don't know if it's the bait, I don't know if it's the conditions we're in right now, but there's not a lot of activity. Talk about how yesterday we went on a trip we got these awesome mackerels. I tell you guys something, I am excited to get home. I know I got those two mackerels. I might prep them for you. Mackerels are exciting to cook. You guys are gonna see what that's all about. All right, my friends, back in my place. I got these two mackerels from the last trip, yesterday's trip. Awesome mackerels, my favorite, one of my favorite fishes to catch because of the fact that they're so simple to cook, catch, and clean. Check this out. All right, so check this out. We're gonna do this simple incision right here towards the head just like that we're going to start off back here at the tail work your way into the tail and real gentle right on the backbone you're going to make sure the whole backbone is coming off with the fish right there and just like that that's one that's one fillet right there really simple so we got one fillet right there so we cut this fish with the skin on we're gonna cook it with the skin on and as you notice i cut right through the rib cage so we're gonna go back over here and cut that rib cage clean off just those little bones very slightly take those bones out just like that there's all your bones from the rib cage nothing else over here we got a little bit of bones right here we're gonna cut these off as well and boom, just like that, my friends. And you got one out of four clean fillets. We got one fish down. 
I'm gonna lay these sticks right here. Boom, boom. As you can see, no meat left behind right there, all bones. As soon as you get these fillets done, just put a bunch of olive oil on them. Be lovely with them. Show them some love. Just like that. You're gonna rub it all over the place. Front and back. Just like that. Trust me guys, when you guys try this, you're gonna be you're gonna fall in love. Mackerel. Spanish mackerel, one of the best fishes out there man. One of my favorite fishes to catch, clean, and cook. So now flies aren't gonna come over here, they aren't gonna get on your fillets. It's gonna be lovely guys, it's gonna be lovely. On the side, this is the key right here. You guys gotta get this right. We're gonna put a little bit of oregano. This is fresh oregano. You can get some bottled oregano as well. I'm gonna cut these oregano slightly. Very small chunks of oregano. Boom, boom. Put the stem in there, everything. You got your oregano's chopped up. We're gonna put them over here on the side. Also, bay leaves. Awesome ingredient right here. This is gonna give you that aroma in your fish. It's gonna, guys, it's gonna, it's gonna be awesome, guys. Put in a few hits of mayonnaise over here to our mix. Maybe two spoons, leave it like that right there. Back with the olive oil, hit it up just a little more. A little more olive oil in there. And of course you can't miss your sriracha sauce. Just a little tap of sriracha sauce right there. Black pepper. A little bit of salt. These bay leaves, don't put them on your sauce yet. We're gonna leave these out here. Grab some fresh garlic. Maybe I would say three cloves of garlic. It's gonna be okay. Just like that guys, abundant with the garlic, garlic is awesome, more garlic left behind, boom, all inside that awesome sauce, and then finally, finally, we're going to grab the sauce, and we're going to mix it guys, boom, when you have your sauce ready, get some lemon, grab that lemon right there just like that my friends, I think two of them are going to do the trick, look at all those seeds right there, Always, you can always use your hand. Gotta love the kitchen, the kitchen loves you. Give one last swirl to this right here. So you got your fillets right there. All four fillets. But, here's the key. I know you got olive oil already in the pan, you don't wanna mess that up. But we're gonna grab this fillet full of olive oil. We're gonna dip this in here just like that. We're gonna bring it back. Bring it back over here. Guys, I'm telling you, this is gonna be awesome, guys. You could already tell, look at that awesome deliciousness we got in these fishes. Full of flavor. This is gonna be great, guys. Lay them down just like that. You're gonna do that to all your fillets, so it's gonna be pretty even right there. That's gonna guarantee you it's not gonna get stuck. We got the skin on, remember we have the skin on. So we're gonna have to, I don't know, it's up to you. You can eat the skin, you can take it off when it's done. Now my friends, paprika, the last ingredient we're gonna put on here, just for a little bit of color, when this is done, it's gonna be great, guys. Just be light with it, just a little bit. Just a little bit will do, just like that. When you got this like that, remember I have a little bit of bay leaves over here. Boom, boom, boom. You guys could do this fish in the oven, but we're gonna do it in the barbecue. Very low heat, maybe 350 for about 20 minutes. This does not take that long to cook all the way through. I encourage you guys to absolutely check this out. Make sure, make sure you guys try this whenever you catch a mackerel, it's gonna be awesome, guys. Guys, without a doubt, check this out. This looks delicious. Without a doubt, this is one of my favorite, favorite fishes to eat because of the fact that they're so, so tender, so good. So we're gonna give this a little swirl, I'm so excited. We're just gonna get a little bit from this, from this Part right here look at that you can eat this with skin or without skin it's up to you i like eating it with skin oh my god there's so much fish oh it's hot you got the flavor it just keeps coming you got these bay leaves give it a little bit of 
a fruity flavor. Let me give this another try. Wow, dude, this. Ooh. All jokes aside, this is an awesome recipe to. Maybe you have some family over, you wanna cook something simple, but it doesn't take a lot of time. Boom, boom, bow, you get it done on the table. Your family's gonna love it, guys. By the way, thank you for 30,000 subscribers. The channel just broke 30,000 subscribers. And as always, you know, I love every single one of my subscribers. I have the utmost respect and loyalty for you guys. You guys are awesome, amazing, and beautiful. As always, thank you guys for all the support you guys show day in and day out. I have a lot of awesome content coming up soon and a lot of awesome and exciting plans that I have coming up soon for the channel. This is the end of this video. I love every single one of you guys. You guys are awesome, amazing, and beautiful. Catch you guys next time. I threw the guts to the cats. They already took it. But anyways, guys, this right here, you can use for a broth, a fish broth is awesome the heads the backbone all that extra meat that was on there you can use that make sure to try it